What up YouTube? Today a new YouTube tutorial, another Yeet beat breakdown. It's a very energetic synth type of beat. As I said in the last tutorial, I find these very addictive to make. They're so fun to make. Uh, they're hella energetic. Let's dive straight into Ableton. I said it and I'ma keep saying it, bruh. If we make Yeet type shit, we need Yeet type drip. So uh, I started off with this poison synth one shot from uh, Producer Grind. The chords are pretty easy. I usually start these type of beats with a bass line, a very catchy bass line. So I'm gonna only show the bass line first. Yeah, let's go. The bass line kind of dictates the beat. So if you get that right, then your Yeet beat is kind of already made. So then I added the sub notes. Very, very catchy vibes, you know what I'm saying? So the next sound I did, also from the producer grind Poison Kit, it's the Saw one shot. Just carved out some lows and uh, used ROM. It's a reverb. I can't be the only one thinking that this plugin is super underrated. And then I, I went to look for, for the bass line and the root note of the bass line is a B. So I took uh, the B and just went down scale. Oh, I forgot to say, I also cut out some attack. Together with the other melody, this is what it sounds like. Very like outer space like. Then I added a little extra thing, just the same uh, one shot from the synth. Carved out some lows, carved out some highs. Added the Valhalla Supermassive with the delay just on a quarter dotted. This is what you get. Just a little extra. Okay, so that's it for the melody. Now we're gonna move on to the drums. These hi-hats are what really drives the beat. It's a typical yeet bounce. Just that shape is, for drums, it's, it's like really good to get the energy popping. Then with the claps, we kind of did something interesting. So this is the sounds, no low cut or, or nothing going on there. Okay, so normally your claps would be something like this, just on the basic backbeat of the beat. But I tend to find that a little bit boring. So what I'll do is move this or move this or move it there or add an extra clap right there. It's kind of fucks with your mind and that's why it's so interesting. I also added a little ghost note before the main clap. And this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna give you the hi-hat to give you some context. Then I added some perks, like a, a snare. The snare is from uh, a drums.knock kit, no effects. Then I added this snare. It's uh, also a producer grind snare. Uh, it's a very fat, like, perk. I love it. Then we have this perk. Let's move on to the kicks. I just uh, used knock kick. You're gonna see me use that kick a lot. It's like the main kick I use. Super aggressive. It works with most 808, so I use it all the time. Then we have uh, this Yeet 808. The trick what I did here to make it interesting is I had an A part and a B part. You can see it right here. It switches out throughout the beat. The A part is just the bass line copied from this melody. These notes right here. Just those notes. And then in the second part, I cut them in half every time. And then I added like this little bounce roll at the end. It's super repetitive, but you know, for these Yeet type beats, you really want to go in on this type of uh, repetitiveness. I added these uh, open heads to just, just like signal where we're going into a new section of the beat. So I have this open head. Then I have another open head. And I have a third open head. The last two heads, they really make a, they really have a pocket together. And when you add that up with the drums, you get this. you know a yeet beat wouldn't be a yeet beat without the bells so i added some bells from the producer guy and drum kit uh, this is the pattern just to you know add that little yeet percentage in the beat then i put my tag on there and that's it for the beat that's five
Okay, so for the arrangement, I took the bells out at some parts because it's like a little too heavy when you have it on all the time. So I cut out some of the counter melody that also gets too static if you have it on the whole beat. It could work for Yi type beats because they're very repetitive, but I just uh, left it off for some variation. The perks, I also like let the snares do its thing and then let, let this perk do its thing at a separate time because it gets too busy otherwise. I kind of left a break at these parts too. And these Yi type beats are very like high frequency boosted because of the synths so i had a part where i cut out the highs so i hope that this video helps you with your Yitai beats like i said they're super addictive to make i really made like like the last two days i only made these type of beats i think i'm really going in on these type of beats i hope you learned something from this if you have any questions you can always ask me on the gram all the links will be down below also my beat stars if you want to purchase a beat or something so yeah that's it see you in the next one